Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. In today's video, we are going to see how to grow and care for tacoma stands or yellow bells the right way. It's a perennial or permanent flowering plant and easy to grow and care for. We know this plant by many other names and you can find them on the screen. In this video, I will provide complete updates. Along with that, I am also going to share a very simple secret to get lots of flowers non-stop from April to October, November onwards. Normally, they don't bloom on a constant basis. For example, here you can see one of my Tacoma plant which is growing directly in ground. It's quite big and it blooms heavily only in April to May and then in September to November. But this one blooms non-stop from March, April to October, November. Alright, let's get started. I bought the plant from nursery and at that time it was like this. Thought to report the plant immediately without wasting any single day. To report, selected one 12 inch wider and 12 inch deeper pot. My potting soil mix is also ready and for that took 50% normal garden soil, 25% cocoa peat and 25% vermicompost. Tacoma needs lots of water and daily watering is needed in summer. Depending on the temperature, you may have to water twice, once in the morning and once in the evening. That is why, please avoid using too much sandy potting soil mix. As my normal garden soil is already a bit sandy, adding cocoa peat to the potting soil mix. It's going to maintain the moisture in the potting soil mix. Instead of cocoa peat, we can also use peat moss. The soil was stuck very badly. It was because the soil was mostly the clay type. That is why I broke the pot. Let's report the plant quickly. In case you are thinking what is the best time to report, then answer would be the February to March. From that time, the growing time starts. And they are both heat and cold tolerant, but they will go dormant if temperature goes below freezing. The ideal temperature to grow the Tacoma is around 21 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius. Watering well and then I would keep the pot in indirect sunlight for next two to three days and then I am going to sip the plant to the terrace. Let's take a look at the updates. This is how the seed pod looks like. In case you want to grow them from seed, collect the seeds before the seed pod is already opened. I mean, before they reach this stage. The seeds are very light and thin, as you can see on this footage. Tacoma can be grown both from cuttings and seeds. In winter, leaves may turn yellow and it is normal. Well, I was thinking to prune my plant once, but before I did it, it already started flowering again. If you want to prune, you can do it in February. 
I did not prune my plant and I reported once again in the March 2024. Did it like before and that's why I did not record again. This is the result after 80 days and after 1 year and 15 days from this stage. I could have ended the video much earlier but as the plant was still with me and it's still with me right now that's why I thought to record some more updates. My plant is blooming very well isn't it? It's looking absolutely fuller and I am so glad that it's blooming this way. Anyway, I'd be glad to get your feedback on my plant. Let's talk about caring for tecoma plants the right way. First one is sunlight. In tropical place like India, 3 to 4 hours of direct sunlight is sufficient. The same thing is happening with the plant which I am growing directly in the ground floor. If you like, you can also provide sunlight for more hours. Let's say full sun is also okay and this is the same thing which I am doing with this plant. But if you are from cooler climate, try to provide minimum 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight or even full sun. For water, keep the soil consistently moist and avoid letting the top soil dry out something like this. Leaves or flowers may wilt in that case. For fertilizers, I apply only two components once in three to four months and if you are going to do similar like me, doing the same would be more than sufficient. First component is 30 grams mustard cake powder and second component is 50 grams bone meal. Only these components are sufficient. Cover the components and then water well. We can use the same soil whatever we have removed from the pot or if you like you can also use fresh potting soil mix. At any time if you find that the leaves are getting somewhat lighter green something like this then you should understand that it's time to feed them. However, please note that the leaves on Tacoma are not that purely dark green. Something like this one. They are already a bit light greener. So what's the secret to get flowers non-stop? It's very simple. You need to buy the hybrid one or drop variety. Mine is the same and that is why it blooms non-stop. How to identify them? Very easy. Size of the leaves and flowers are smaller in hybrid variety comparing to the normal one or we can say the taller variety or bigger one. What about the pest management? I did not get any pest attacks on my plant. But sometimes you can find mealybugs on Tacoma that is somewhat common and usually they attack on the top growing part. I already have a video where I have provided top 5 ways to get rid of mealybugs. In case you are interested to know more, please check out the next video. Hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening update. And also please click on the bell icon to get the new video updates. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great time. Take care and enjoy.